Hello, I am Oleg Kalika Sandrov, market analyst, and uh, this is the video about uh, Bitcoin Cash. Uh, two weeks ago, I wrote in uh, Trade Unity Market Overviews Group. I wrote an overview about BCH, and I would I suggest BCH brothers are interested in fake penetration of 300 round number. At that time, Bitcoin Cash had been traded around $288 per one coin. So now let's. It was, it was the last day of October. Okay. And now let's make a chart reading of the current BCH USD chart. I use 12 hours time frame from uh, Coinbase current uh, crypto exchange. Okay. Uh, here was the first attempt of penetrate of 300 round number. So I plot the horizontal blue line uh, just exactly at 300 round number. So as you can see, it was the first attempt to penetrate uh, 300 round number. It was low volume undecision bar. And next bar is, uh, I'd like to interpret it as the uh, supply pressure but the supply pressure uh, found the support around the uh, $270 per one coin and this is level is uh, support from demand bar level because as you can see here is a demand bar and at the core of the, this demand bar it was a lot of bullish effort to push price higher so you uh, justified to expect the support just at this level because see it was uh, it increase in volume with the very widespread so bullish power is uh, existed at the beginning of this up move so when price uh, achieved this level of support. You see uh, the bar closed uh, far from its lows and here is no supply bar. You see price goes down but the volume is actually very low. So this bar tells us that support from $270 should bounce price up. And as you can see, we got this bones up. Uh, this is a very minor uh, selling combination at the bottom of this bar. You see, uh, here is the volume. The volume is just around the average, but uh, the ma major uh, part of this volume uh, has came uh, just at the low of this bar when uh, price bones it up from $270 per one coin. It was the bullish impulse and price goes higher and higher until it has reached round number 300 and as you can see it was the second attempt to break out through the round number 300 and what is the result of that attempt? So the result is not very positive because you see price closed, it, uh, the bar closed uh, near its lows. So it was a fast penetration and very uh, big selling pressure pushed price down. And we got these two up bars with the volume very low. So it was a not very bullish indication because uh, this bar told us the selling pressure is very active at the uh, round number 300. So buyers feel not much confidence in pushing price higher. 
So look uh, at this bar, this is uh, no decision bar, so uh, market is not, uh, has um, big ideas and confident ideas where it want to go and uh, let's see on the very next bar, you see a little increase in volume and the higher higher than the previous no decision bar and closing higher and the lows of this bar also is higher than the low of undecision bar so you can see this in another even the third attempt of bulls to break out through the round 300 and let's see what is the result of this third attempt of bulls to break out about the 300 round number you see increase in volume but the closing around the on the middle of the bar and as you can see the high of this third attempt is the higher than the highs of the previous two attempts here we got the high around 306 here we got the high at 304 and the third attempt again it the high of 308 so it was the biggest progress but closing around the lows I would like to interpret this bar as the demand bar which is transisted into the SLKT because it was just a little bit penetration above the previous two highs uh, buyers have been entered into the new positions longs because they thought that price Bitcoin cash will go as high as 400 per one coin and sellers were stopped out because they put it a lot of stop losses above the previous minor highs and as a result you see the very next bar this is clear no demand because price made the up move with the decrease in volume you see the volume is lower than average and it lower than the previous bar so we can suggest it was no demand and no interest of market of going uh, in the further up move and here's the very clear confirmation of the no demand and uh, this is supply bar and this very uh, clear bearish change this is a change in character of the market because uh, when you get up move on low volume and the very next down move with the increase in volume but as you see the increase in volume is not expressive is not extremely high so this is uh, volume is just a bit higher than average and the down move is the red bar with the closing not very on the very slow but near the lows so uh, this body tells that uh, might have changed its behavior and the sellers have the control when they push it price from the highs of this bar to the lows they have the control on the very uh, on the every path of this down bar and you get the no demand and supply bar so uh, from this point uh, the chart readers uh, get the confirmation that market is under control of bears at the level of 300 this is very serious resistance line so it was undecision bar it was a, li li uh, a bit small attempt of price to move higher because you see it was up bar green up move an attempt to push price a little higher but the volume is low so I'd like to interpret this bar as like is no demand with undecision here is supply bar with the stop loss killing at the very its top so the high of this red bar is higher than the high of this low but the, the 
as the chi of this green bar. So, uh, what to explain it? Uh, trigger the stop losses of sellers above this high and push price down. And here we get supply bar with transition into the uh, selling culmination at the, high, at the faster time frames. You see spike in volume and a big part of this volume has came I'm sure it at the low of this bar because it was uh, selling culmination at uh, 15 minute time frame or 10 minute time frame because now uh, we have uh, 12 hours time frame so uh, but if we dip into the faster time frame we will see the uh, down bar with the closing far from lows with the extremely high volume and uh, when you see the down bar with the extremely high volume so you should suggest the hidden uh, strength a lot of uh, sellers entered into the uh, shots and a lot of buyers were stopped out because they uh, tend to put their stop losses just a little bit lower, some ticks lower than the previous lows. So we got a previous low here and here and this bar. Uh, triggered stop losses there and uh, by this section a market lost its interest to push price higher because it won't to make cry for bulls and for bears and that is why we got up move so sellers who entered it into the short position here they fell bad and their buyers who were knock it from their lungs they also feel bad but the market feel good because it make fools from the both parties and bulls and bears and we got the fourth now attempt number four to penetrate the round number 300 and as you can see the closing is just around the lows and the very next bar is the red bar so this is very uh, clear indication that the attempt number four was failed again. And what we got next? That sideways sideways movement here is undecision bar. The volume was very low, so market did not have decision what it where it want to go. It was attempt to go higher because you see a lot of action of this bar uh, has been traded higher than the close of, from the previous bar. So it was attempt to go higher and the result is very not, not very positive because the close just not far from its lows. So actually we should interpret this bar as the uh, no demand with the further selling pressure because you see the volume is lower than average I'm not sure but I guess when we switch into the faster time frames we will see a uh, up move with the small volume, teeny volumes and a binary culmination at the 5 minute time frame with the supply bar at the five minute time frame and the price push it down and close it around the low so the result is bearish and uh, we have uh, many signs of weakness on the background around the 300 round number so uh, it is very risky uh, to hold a uh, long position here This is not very clear indication of. It's very hard, hard to interpret this bar because it has a long tail down, and the low of this bar is lower than previous lows from four bars. So 
a portion of stop losses or bulls were triggered by this low, by uh, this bar, and we can expect up move and uh, uh, bullish impulse powered by triggering of stop losses of buyers, and actually we see the closing around the high. So it was the result of bullish impulse, but nothing uh, more continuation and development of this bullish impulse as the, the, very, as the very next two bars, we've got two down bars, red colors, here and here, even more we got the very white red bar here with the closing around the lows and uh, study the volume, you can see the volume is going up with the price is going down and this is the bearish behavior of the market here is we got this strange up bar because it has a spike in volume with a very narrow range and it's uh, very hard to interpret the behavior of the market when we use uh, the um, volume and price interaction uh, what we sh uh, what what we have to be confident in is uh, in testing of this former support level to 180 so it, it was breakdown support level here and here this support level was tested, breakdown was tested, and the 280 level became as the resistance line. And as the result of the test of breakdown, we got the uh, very sharp move. And here is uh, closing around the middle with a penetration of 270 level. And we should suggest uh, that some sort of support is still present here because the closing around the middle. And let's study the, uh, the low of this bar. It was uh, 268, and the low of this bar is 269. So it, just a little penetration of the previous low some ticks I bet that the penetration uh, uh, made just several seconds it was enough to trigger stop losses of buyers and that is why we should to expect some sort of bullish movement so this bar has some sort of similarity with this bar because it triggered stop losses here and this long tail down is triggered stop losses under this movement so uh, what should we expect on the very next moves as for me currently market has uh, minor uh, bullish impulse and that is why uh, the weak rally, technical rally, will not be a big surprise for me. But taking into the consideration the white picture, we have a lot of arguments that the uh, market has uh, a lot of selling power at the round number 300. And what is important uh, in my video so what is the conclusion uh, we all have to pay as much uh, attention as possible when uh, the uh, price reaching uh, very round uh, numbers uh, this is psychological levels when the, the uh, chart becomes uh, more interesting and they uh, can give you the very clear indication what is happening on the market. So you can see it was no demand with supply bar and 
uh, with the SLKT on the previous bar, this is very a clear indication that market is not interested in going higher above the uh, psychological level 300 levels. And it was, uh, and this principle is valid not only for Bitcoin Cash, it also valid for stock markets also as well as Forex. And uh, commodity futures, okay. And that is why I wrote on the trade unity about fake penetration of 300 round number because it was a rational expectation for me. So practice chart reading and uh, uh, read the charts because they sometimes uh, tell us very clear, interesting stories, and you will be get uh, and you will get a notification much earlier than other traders who follow lagging indicators or and use in mass media. And thank you for watching this video and uh, visit Trade Unity, join Trade Unity, get free live package in Trade Unity site, and uh, we will. Uh, chat in the telegram thank you for watching this video and goodbye for now